more V3 might end up over here in the eights. If I'm not mistaken, could you can, if somebody could find it, post it down below in the comments, I would appreciate that. One last point before we get going here, your patience with getting the shoe reviews go going back on the, I mean, it's just been, it's been a crazy six weeks with moving, Pikes Peak, UTMB, la 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 la. It's a training now for New York City, but it's a, this table is the shoe table. So I gotta clear this off just for the sake of my sanity. We got Windex here, we've got a box cutter, we've got markers. Oh my goodness, this is just all, This is, it all has to go. This is gonna be the stay, one of the staging areas. I guess, basically this is gonna be the 50 mile full review slash 25 mile full review for trail shoes. Um, just, it just has to happen. So here we go, come on. Like I said, I got a little behind. I got, oh, we're going though. We're rolling, I promise, I promise we're rolling. So I'm a little, uh, little scatterbrained right now, and I know exactly why it's happening. It's because I'm not organized, and that's the process that I'm going through right now. Shout out to Chris and to H-Town Q over on Discord for this idea. I didn't even think of this. This was them, all right? Discord, it's where we hang out, it's where we chat. If you wanna go a little deeper into running shoe reviews, it's live chat, it's unbelievable. So I was just chatting back and forth with those two guys, and let me just move the camera here. So they had the idea of Seth, in the Studio 1.5, you should have a section dedicated to shoes that are in the eights, okay? So as we're talking about the running shoe buy guide, uh, obviously the Mach 4 is going up, okay? Rebel V2 is going up on the Nova Blast 2. Oh my goodness, where? So any shoe that gets a score above eight, in my scoring system will end up on one shelf that is just like the best of the best. The best shoes that I love, the Evo Speed Goat. There it is, that guy's going up, you better believe it. What else, let me just grab, I like to grab the uh, left shoe, hold on. I think, I think the Zoom X, right? All right, so I'll confirm some of these. Oh man, all right, let's go. Got my, got my little, my little stands, thank you Amazon. Let's go, let's go. Okay, I found some shoes that I wanna talk about briefly. Also had to get out of those running clothes, so quick, quick, um, what is it, wardrobe change. All right, so H-Town Q, Chris, I'm taking your recommendation very seriously and, and immediately. Okay, Mach 4 going into the shelves, definitely scored in the eights. I believe it was like an 8.7, the Hoka Mach 4. All right, so that's going in there. Rebel V2, I think we're right about just over eight for the Rebel V2. I uh, need to grab the other pair, but that's gonna go there. Let's see, or the other, uh, yeah, the other pair. Okay, Evo Speed Goat just scored 300 mile full review. There it is, a trail shoe. And again, I will light up, I'll light these up better. So any shoe, for those that are new to the channel, any shoe that scores above an eight is a great score, an incredible score. Uh, even the high sevens, which I'm gonna mention a few here in a second, uh, is also a solid score. But man, in the eights, you're talking about, okay, I really, really love the shoe, the ride, the upper, the lockdown, the price point, okay? Which is why, here we go. Oh, it breaks my heart. It really does. The Zoom X, Invincible, and I'm not gonna bend on this. Some people have commented and said, Seth, you need to cut the price point out of your scoring system, and the reason I keep it in partially is because of this guy, in the sense that i it's the gateway. If you can't afford the shoe, you can't run in the shoe, meaning I wanna hold in check all of these running shoe companies, Asics, Hoka, you know, New Balance, Nike, all these running shoe companies that, yeah, they're making great running shoes, but are they keeping the price point down for us 
the consumers, us, the runners. And, I, and listen, we're all at different stages of life. Remember this, uh, let me just mute that real quick. Remember that you, you guys know the story. It's like I couldn't afford a brand new running shoe, so I bought this guy for $30, not $20, $30, and it wasn't Craigslist. Now that I'm, it was Facebook Marketplace about three and a half years ago. So guess what? The Endorphin Speed 2, not going in this shelf over here for the, those over the eights. For now, I'm just gonna put it there. The Invincible Run Flying It, love this shoe, love this shoe. And then we're gonna put this guy up here, Invincible Run Flying It from Nike. Um, not, it, it was about a 7.6. I believe the Endorphin Speed 2 was about a 7.7-ish, okay? And again, I'll do my best to link to some of these full reviews down below. Um, okay, let's dive into a few current shoes that I'm testing right now. Rincon 3, again, 7.6. Would I buy it again? Let's dive into the buying guide. And yes, I'm gonna run you through some old running shoe reviews that I've already done. Oh yeah, I wanted to mention the Facebook group, okay? If you are on Facebook, and listen, it's not for everybody. Um, listen, social media, I think it's, a, it's a good to have a balance with social media, how much you're on social media. But if you want to dive a little deeper, kind of like Discord, but not quite as deep, uh, you can hop on the Facebook group, which is, again, linked down below in the description. So David Sampson, literally right now, live, I am going to approve his post. He says, got there in the end, had to get a half size bigger, but well pleased with these. And he's talking about the Hoka Clifton 8, which frankly, I would pass personally for me. I think Hoka needs to innovate a little bit with respect to their EVA, just so you're aware. That's where I stand. But the Rincon 3, absolutely would buy it again. There it is. Now, would I buy the Rincon 2 or the Rincon 3? I'd probably just go 2, frankly. Pinch a few pennies. Okay, so let's put this. Now, I'm actually, oh boy, where is it? Let's put this over here real quickly. Now, moving on to the winter and i realize everybody in the southern hemisphere so raise your hand in the comments south africa oh you it's spring right it's about to be spring down there turning into summer we're talking about you know i don't know australia the and maybe not the philippines you're closer to the equator south africa uh you know argentina raise your hand down in the comments bolivia let us know if you're watching in the southern hemisphere so the Run Shield, we in the Northern Hemisphere are getting, we're DGR strong, do more global, it's like, it's a global scope here, we gotta remember that. And actually that connects to the comment of the day here in a second. So the Saucony Endorphin Speed 2 Run Shield, unbelievable. Now, is it available everywhere yet? Not quite. I love, I, I might love this upper more than the, frankly, just the straight up Endorphin Speed 2. Very excited for the shoe. I think uh, if you want to pick up the paces, even through the winter months and the wet fall, you know, and maybe even into next spring when it's kind of a, a mix of rain, snow, sleet, I'm very excited about the shoe. Okay, let me put this over here. Now, stability runners, I haven't forgotten about you either. Wow. Now, have I published the full review yet? No. The Endorphin Shift 2. Love this shoe. Uh, let's do the durometer. It's a little fur. Oh, it's amazing. It's a little head. Oh, let's put it on the scale. I always got to be careful what I say live on the camera here. Let's put it on the scale really quickly. Bear with me here. 9.7. Not bad for a stability shoe, actually, in my size. A little on the heavy side. I took it to 50 miles. A stability shoe. So expect the 50 mile full review very soon. Would I buy it again? Yes. Stability runners out there, love you too. I absolutely would buy this shoe again, the Endorphin Shift 2. Okay. Oh, I almost forgot. Hold on. Hold on, everybody. Okay. Oh, the Nova. Let me just confirm real quickly, everyone. One second, one second. Nova Blast 2 is also going in the shelf. Let's put it up here for now. And I got to secure this shelf a little bit better. Okay. So we got the Nova Blast 2. The Mach 4, the Rebel V2, Evo Speed Goat, okay? And let's see if I'm missing anything else. Actually, real quick, let me just confirm. Okay, so I just had to double check. The A6 Fuji Light 2, 7.88 out of 10. It did not break into the eights, oh so close. Uh, but it, so it's not gonna go over here, but that's it. That's a solid, solid score. Just wanted to confirm that. Okay, I wanna bring you a little more value really quickly, everybody. Just looking around, making sure I'm not missing any shoes here at my feet. Again, still, still building out, but it's happening here. We're gonna do a little rapid fire here. 
uh, running shoe buy guide, buy or sell, buy again or not buy again. Okay, rapid fire. Here we go. Sketcher Speed Freak. No, I wouldn't buy it again. All right, Solomon Ultra Glide. 100%. In fact, where is it? Oh, I wish it was here. I think it got, uh, might be over there. 7.98 out of 10, if I'm not mistaken. Solomon Ultra Glide. Love that shoe. Oh, man. Amazing. Adidas Audios Pro 2. Pass. Oh, so sad. I have to pass on that guy. Brooks Caldera 5. Buy. Thumbs up. Definitely. Hoka's in all. Thumbs down. Didn't love the durometer. A little too firm of a ride for me. Uh, now, I didn't get to race in it. It's designed a little bit more for faster paces, like racing, hokas and all. Thumbs down for me. Skechers Razor TRL Trail, 100%. I'd buy it again. Light, decent grip, not great durability, uh, but in, and pretty, pretty decent ride, pretty decent bounce through the foot strike. So, uh, Skechers Razor TRL, I would buy again. Uh, let's see, let's see. Puma DV8 Nitro Elite. I would buy again, okay? I'll, I'm gonna give it a thumbs up. It's just a little soft, all right? Keep that, if you like a softer ride, uh, that might be a shoe for you to consider. New Balance Fresh, I think that's in the eights. I don't know where it is. Oh my goodness. The Fresh, I think it's, is it? Could you confirm? I think it may, or maybe not. I, maybe I'm just getting too excited. New Balance Fresh Foam More V3 might end up over here in the eights, if I'm not mistaken, could you can, if somebody could find it, post it down below in the comments, I would appreciate that. Nike Terra Kiger 7, thumbs, uh, let me just think, tight. no, thumbs down. Terra Kiger 7, thumbs down. It was fine, but not amazing, all right? Wild Horse 7, fine, but not amazing, okay? Skechers Max Road 5, two thumbs up. That might be another one. Actually, here we go. Here is the midsole, okay? Skechers Max Road 5. I would buy it again in a heartbeat. Great bounce, uh, very comfortable. Yeah, Skechers Max Road 5. I would definitely indeed. Nike Pegasus 38, kind of borderline. All right, Nike Pegasus 38. Hoka Clifton 8, already talked about that. Let's see, moving on here. Gel Cumulus 23 from Asics. Fine. Again, a little bit on the fence, probably thumbs down if, as far as buying again, just so you are aware. And let's just do one or two more. Asics Noosa, was it Noosa Tri 13, right? Actually, I think it's somewhere around here. Oh, there we go. I would buy it again. Snappy, decent durometer, good lockdown. Asics Noosa Tri 13. Okay, and we'll just do one more. Hmm, which should it be? Which should it be? Do, 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 do. We're gonna go Glide Ride 2 from Asics. Um, I'd probably pass actually. I'd probably just pick up the original Glide Ride. Okay, everyone, there you go. Uh, comment of the day, question of the day. I know I went a little long there. Hold on, here we go. Comment of the day, shout out to Daniel Hendricks. Thank you, Daniel, for being a member of the channel. He says, Seth, I think Studio 2.0 needs a large map. I love that idea. Taking into account your love for maps, yes, and where your fans are at around the globe, yes. I think you should have a substantial map with graphics showing the DGR fam around the world and places you've traveled for racing and filming. Maybe even a little metal with graphics in the places you flew the W. Daniel, that is a great idea. Mm, I'm going to remember that, Daniel. Thank you again for being a member of the channel. Let me know what your thoughts are on a big map behind me in the Studio 2.0. Question of the day, kind of a rough question uh, in the sense that, well, I'll just ask it. What running shoe have you had to return in the past 12 months and why? Why did you return it? I think it's actually pretty, it's gonna be good intel down in the comments for all of you who are looking for running shoes you know, leading it, you know, I'll just say, like leading into the end of 2021 as we transition crazy to the 2022 running shoe lineup. There you go, running shoe buy guide in the books. Just like some basic thoughts. Thanks for bearing with me as we build it out. We're building it out. All right, we'll toss it to the road running shoe matrix from about, I don't know, six weeks ago, right about there, right there, right there. All right, everyone, seek beauty, work hard and love each other. See you tomorrow.